get two bucks a day, don't I? Get off your lazy ass and come and help me! Cut me some slack, will you? I'm working hard too, you know. Now what? Son of a bitch, Panjuji! Ow! Shit, man! I'm flying blind up here, Brainiac! I thought you fixed the radar! It's a little temperamental. You have to be gentle. Shit on my ass! The whole system just trapped out on me! Killed off by your negative vibe, no doubt. No doubt! Are you hitting that thing again? No. You know, where is it written that I have to go out there and work? I mean, you know, Finnegan, why don't you get your ass out there sometime? I love you too, Layla. Everything all right? Just peachy. We are on schedule, are we not? Well, you didn't hire me for my social graces. That's right. We hired you for your reputation. You better live up to it. Where are we? Right there. Middle of nowhere. And our final destination. Right? There. Middle of nowhere squared. Finnick. Yeah. I heard of you, but I thought you'd be old. Like a fine wine, I'm aging gracefully. Thank you. <laughs> like a fine wine, my ass. You look more like a keg of beer to me. <laughs> Any questions, Mr. Finnegan? Nope. I get paid to shut up and do my job, so I shut up and do my job. You're not the least bit curious as to where we're going. Like the sign says, if the cash is there, we do not care. Very good. Where the hell are we going? upon this vessel has but one objective, to make your dreams come true. As for myself, my entire life I have had but one dream, to create the greatest, most luxurious, most expensive pleasure ship ever built. And tonight, seeing all of you here so beautiful, so elegant, so rich, <laughs> My dream has 
come true, and I thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for making it so. To the Argonautica, good times forever! <laughs> State of the art on another ship like her, Mom. You can hit a 40 foot swell and not even put a ripple across your martini. <laughs> well, it's been very nice meeting you people, and I hope you enjoy the rest Thank of the cruise. Thank you so much, Mom. Oh, oh, excuse me. No, no, excuse me, Mom. Oh, really, very sorry. Au revoir. Acknowledged by the UN or like made up countries too. What the hell does that mean? Like T Ray's country. Shut your face, Billy. Australia's a country. Australia's an island. Well, technically, it's, it's a continent. Right? Oh, shit, man. Island, country, continent. If there's women there, well, I'm interested. If you come to my country, I shoot your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever talk about anything else but women? Nah, not that I recall. The only way to shut him up is to shoot him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? You ever thought about it? Every day. Come on, boys. Sit down, mate. <laughs> Go back to Australia. What is this? Um... Oh, but with our pictures. Well done, mate. <sighs> you know what I want to eat? I'll take a couple of nice, greasy pig's feet, some pickled monkey brains, and one of the big elephant eyeballs. Raw, so they pop when you bite into them. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs>
here. Get in there! Well, 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 what do we have here, fellas? I found him snooping around the cargo. If there's anything I can do to make your trip more comfortable, you come to me, okay? Well, don't just sit there, go help him! Are you kidding me? Those guys are dangerous! No shit! You've got to do something! I find you a little longer if you don't. Finnegan! <laughs> <laughs> We got a contract. 20 hours out and back. You beat my engine man to death, it's gonna take a hell of a lot longer. Which is okay by me, since overtime will run you double rate. He was nosing around in my cargo. Okay, so he's nosy. The contract was no questions asked. No, well, fellas, I vote we kick this little piece of shit overboard. <laughs> well, I vote we kill him. I vote we kill him, then we throw him overboard. Well, we don't vote here. It's not a democracy. Okay, I'll say it one more time for the hearing impaired. Good evening, mademoiselle. Hello. Red-handed. My God, what a cheeky little trollop you are. Good evening, gentlemen. I was just on my way out. Or maybe not. A good decision. There's really no place to run. The nearest land is, what is it, about 600 miles, Captain? Nearer 800, sir. According to this fax we received... You, oh, that's not a very flattering photograph, is Let me it? see. You're wanted for burglary, robbery, forgery... Oh, and attempted murder? My ex-boyfriend. <sighs> what? Six arrests, five convictions, and wanted in four countries. How does a beautiful woman, as young as yourself, amass such an incredible record? Trust me, it wasn't easy. I think it's because you're not very good at what you do. Oh. Hey, steady on, Captain. No need for that. Uh, uh, I believe that's my card. Thank you. Captain, I forget. Do we have a brig on this ship? Yes, we do, sir, but it's not finished yet. Can't put a lady in the brig. True. But you, mademoiselle, are no lady. Hey, watch it! You, Mr. Canton, I'm a gentleman. Out! 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 They must be 30 feet long, man. 
they're not nukes or nothing, but the bang sure would make your butt pucker. If you ever pull that shit again, I'll kill you myself. Hold still, you big dummy. I'm sorry, it stings. Hey, do you think we could pull over? You got any Nova paint? Oh, yes, my little love bug, but just a little. Oh. I think I need a higher dosage. You always need a higher dosage. Hey, Tooch. Huh? How many of those things are there? I don't know. At least eight or nine of them. I mean, enough to sink a damn aircraft carrier. This is just great. Now I got bombs in my basement. You know, maybe it's just me, but if you'd ask a question or two before accepting a job... If the cash is there, we do not care. What kind of life philosophy is that, man? Torpedoes? What the hell are they gonna do with torpedoes? Assault rifle, rotating barrels, thousand ground capacity, auto cooling water tight. Stop. a negative white screen response, sir. That's impossible. Captain, radar not responding either, sir. Right, switch to auxiliary power, Mr. Lewis. Let's do a circuit check. No response, sir. We have a complete mainframe meltdown. What about the communications gear? Gone. All of it completely gone. Maybe it's a storm, sir. No, no, that, that's nonsense. The ship is impervious to weather. Can we still send? Our signal goes out static, sir. I've never seen anything like it. This equipment is state-of-the-art, top of the line. Mr. Kenton, playing it correctly. We are in a very dangerous situation here. We are running without radar or any form of imaging. We are sailing blind. No bloody way to communicate our situation. I have something here, sir. What is it, Colin? I don't know, sir, but whatever it is, it's, uh, big. Probably just a pot of whale. Moving at 31 knots, sir? I, I don't think so. Where is it coming from? Directly beneath us, sir. 160 meters directly beneath us and rising very quickly. 150 meters, 140, 130, 120, 110, 100 meters, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50 meters. <laughs>
It's gonna cross the extra, you know! What the hell is that? I don't know. Let's go! Looks like some kind of... It's a torpedo launcher. I, I don't like this. Yeah, I know. Neither do I. How much longer? Another 22 minutes and we run on top of, uh... Whatever's out there. What the hell was that? We have a job to finish, a schedule to maintain. Oh, man, would you listen to this crap? Shut up, Grease Monkey. You're expendable, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Story of my life. Hey, get your ass up here! This something on the... What? Well, let me yeah, see. Did you, wait, let me see you... it. Let me see it. Let me see it. You could spare us some fuel and a few minutes in her machine shop. Absolutely. Absolutely. What the hell? We'll take over from here. anymore. Man, dude, can you fix this thing? If I can get into the love boat machine shop, yeah, maybe I can fix this hunk of junk. She ain't gonna run pretty, but she'll run. They bombed all the bombs, man. They're alive. All right. Finnegan and the Grease Monkey will come with us. Wait a minute. The three of us stick together. From now on, you'll be sticking with me. Billy! Yeah, Chief? Finish the torpedo launcher and watch the lady. Hi, Chief. Hey, Chubbo. I'll watch her. I haven't done Korean. Hey, Mr. Comedy, leave my girlfriend out of this. Try to fuck uh, with me! Hey, 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 hey! Behave yourself. Chief, you're alive anyway, eh? Hey, cool up. Knock this shit off. This is worse than high school. Cruise ship's not moving. Why ain't it moving? I don't know. All right, gentlemen. You know the drill. Okay, let's move up!
a miss. You want me to call housekeeping? Use any and all force necessary. The intimidation factor must be high. There's a lot of passengers on this ship. Yep, half of them are packing lipstick. Cap, you don't get close. Chit. That was kind of fun. Well, it was. Everybody's in the atrium. We'll pin them down there, then split up and finish the job. Sound off! We, we got, got the boat! boat. Level 6! Casino! Level, level three. 3! Bridge! Bow! Top level! Uh, here come the party crashes! I don't hear any party. Everybody go down! Nobody go! Somebody had themselves one hell of a shindig. We got blood here. We got blood here too, mate. We got blood everywhere. This looks post-evac, man. Total spooky town. Looks like somebody beat you to the punch. Where the hell is everyone? Who cares, mate? Let's hit the vault and go. Take the freight elevators. They're the only ones that go all the way to the bottom. The rest of you come with me to the bridge. Let's move now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Move.
man did a good job of shutting everything down. Yeah, but he wasn't supposed to stop the ship. Or kill everybody on it. I don't see any bodies. It's like... It's like everyone just... vanished. this rain. The holes on these ships are supposed to be impregnable. So what are you saying? The hall's impregnable. Why are my feet wet? It's a ghost ship. I vote we leave. Who votes we leave? Shut up. Mate, that's it. I thought they were sinking, so they abandoned ship. Stupid bastards. Oh my god, he's right. You're right. Yeah, they all jumped overboard. You know, I can just see the last asshole in saying, Shit, yes, we forgot the lifeboats. Guess we're just gonna have to swim for it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a real big mouth on you, you know that? Yeah, I know that. I don't like you. You don't even know me. Hey, check it out. It's my future ex-wives. Mamula, you bloody pervert. Get your mind out of the gutter. Come on, hurry it up. Whoa, man. What stinks? Did I say it was you? Man, this water's freezing. I'm gonna catch me a cold. <laughs> Which one of you ladies wants to warm me up? Hey, stay close. I didn't know you cared. I care about your gun. Mamuli, keep an eye on it. Uh... What you got there? Peanut. 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 Okay. What? Shit!
You come out there, I'm gonna kick your ass. It wasn't us! What the hell happened here? Please enter your security key card. Hey! <gasps> well, what do you know? Sign a life with curves. Excuse me, but this area is for authorized personnel only. As the assistant to the person, I'm afraid I'll have to report you. Where are the other passengers? I don't know. Sleeping. You tell me what happened here, or I pull the trigger. Who are you? A passenger, just a passenger. Name's Trillian. And you are? Thank you. Makes my job a lot easier. Glad to be of assistance. So again, tell me what happened here. Where is everybody? I thought you liked to both things up. I do. Money, 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 money. Forget about them. We gotta get out of here. There's something down here. Shut up. Just shut the fuck up. There's nothing down here but you and me.
the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I think she broke my nose. You give me a chance to break the rest of your face. Not that anyone would notice. What is this about? What is it? That's what I've been trying to tell you. There's something up there. What the hell happened? You killed him? You killed him? I didn't kill anybody. There's something on this ship. Bullshit! No, it's not bullshit, Mr. Hanover. There are things on this ship. Don't you know each other? Come on. Come on. T-Ray was... You killed him, didn't you? You killed him, didn't you? Didn't you? I heard you the first time. Stand down, you! And you! Tell me what happened. The ship's infested. The bloody things are everywhere. Infested with what? I don't know. How do I know? Never seen anything like it before. Your turn. You don't mind if we get off this thing now, do you? It's a good idea.
chick with the muscles. Come on, there's nowhere to hide. Chick with the muscles. There was no time to do anything. We couldn't even use the lifeboats. Okay. Trouble is, gentlemen, yeah. nobody knows we're in trouble. Yeah. Couldn't send an SOS. Well, then, Mon Capitaine, I think the first order of business should be a call for help. Then, don't you? Yeah, man, call in the Marines. Yeah, let's do it now. Look, you don't seem to understand. Something has jammed the systems. Not something. Someone. Who are you? My name is Simon Kent. I own this ship. Hanover had a connection on this ship. Somebody to knock out all the communications. You two know each other. It was you. What? <laughs> Very quick, Mr. Finnegan. Is this true, Captain? How do we fix it? I said, how do we fix it? Answer. Answer him, oh, son of a bitch! Answer! All the systems are melted at the core. There's not going to be any calls for help. For God's sake, man, why? This is supposed to be your life's work, I thought. The ship's got to be worth what? A couple hundred million? $487.6 million. The insurance. That's what the torpedoes are for. You loot the ship and then you sink it for the insurance. I spent my whole life, my entire fortune, building this ship. I'll be damned if I'm going to lose it to a bunch of pencil neck bankers. Lose it, you greedy bastard. What are you talking about? The ship was operating at full capacity. I know, Captain, but the problem is that the cost of keeping it operating is a hell of a lot more than we're ever going to take in. You mean we're all going to die because you screwed up on the map? I simply misjudged the market. What about the passengers? Were they insured? I may be a crook, but I'm not a savage. The passengers, the crew, and I would have all been safely evacuated on the lifeboats. Don't you get self-righteous with me, Mr. Finnegan. I know all about you. You despicable, lousy bastard. Oh, what? You sold us out to the fire. Oh, you sold us out to the fire. You sold us out to the fire. Hey, 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 hey,
Jeez Louise, lady, give a guy a heart attack, why don't you? What are these things? Real unfriendly. So, um, you got a boat waiting outside, is that right? Yeah. Okay, let's make a deal here. You get me to your boat, and, uh... And I can have whatever I want. Yeah, whatever you want. Can you get me a cold beer? Funny. here may be some kind of strange offshoot of the Akeo Toya family. Oh, the Toya family. <laughs> and to think I was starting to worry. At 4,000 feet, the Toya about as long as a pencil, with bodies about the size of a golf ball. But those at 20,000 feet have been found to eat full-grown sharks at 30 or 40,000 feet. Well, you do the math. This is, uh... Not good. Are we talking some kind of mutated sea monsters here? Who gives a shit what they are? Just tell us how to kill these motherfuckers. The Atoya are very crafty. They hide in burrows and they catch their victims with spiny tentacles and then they, they crush them between massive jaws. Yeah, and then they eat you, right? No, they drink you. They drink you alive. Sucking all the fluids out of a body before excreting the skeletal remains. All right, that's it. Lesson's over. Here's the plan. Hey, I'm still giving the orders around here, mister. You stay here and give all the orders you want. I'm getting back up to my boat, cutting it loose, and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, man, I second that motion. Mind if I tag along? Feel free. be an underpass on the port side that'll take us to the upper level. The starboard ports. I've got the blueprints of the entire ship right here. Who do you think gave you those blueprints? I asked him, man. Could it get any worse? Thanks, Joey.
must have ripped a hole right through the hull. That's how they got in. The power of these things, it's, it's awesome. Glad you're so impressed. Shit! There's no way out through this door. Buckle up. Right to the front. Well, we can't very well go back the way we came. Okay, Ken, it's your ship. Any ideas? Well, there are more hatchways and stairwells on the other side of this wall. The only way out of here, down those steps. He's right. How far? It's 20 meters. Somebody's gonna have to go down there and check. I volunteer to wait here. Me too. No way. I'll go. But you're coming with me. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> then what are we laughing at? Hmm? If we make it through, I'll fire two rounds. That means it's safe to come on through, okay? Okay. Hey, it's mine. Let's give the lady a real gun, shall we? You know how to use it? Yeah, if something comes at me, I'll just pull the trigger till it goes away. Careful with that. It's got a hell of a kick. I can handle it. Well, if we're going for a swim, I think it's your turn to carry the parts. This is turning out to be one hell of a day.
Where's Mason? They got him. Shit! Not Mason! No way! This isn't happening! This isn't bloody happening! Who's next? Now where do we go? Uh, there are more elevators through that hatchway over there. Fuck elevators! Yeah. I ain't going up in no more elevators, man! I agree with these gentlemen. How much longer before we can expect a rescue? I'm not waiting on any rescue party, Finnegan. We checked in just before sunset. It'll be another 24 hours before they start searching for us. Well, 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 what are you saying? That they're not even going to start looking for this ship for another day or two? Be a bit late by then, folks. Here we got creepy crawlies swarming all over the place, killing us off left and right. Makes for a bit of a tight jam, don't you think? I say we stay right here! Are you insane? No. No, man, he's right. There's plenty of food here. We can hold out until they rescue us. They're right. This is the galley for the crew. It was built to be almost entirely airtight in case of fire. With these hatches closed, there's no way those things can get in here. You want to wind up in jail, Mulligan? Better that than in the belly of one of those things. I don't care what you do, but I'm going to keep on going. It's our only chance. Back off. They're wiping us out one at a time. I say we make a stand. Right here. Right now. The whole damn ship's infested, Finnegan. We're not going to make it back to the boat anyways. I'm not staying down here, and that's a fact. Now back off that hatch. I'll do it. I'll do it. I swear to God, I'll kill you. I'm not mucking about here. Oh, don't get hasty, man. We're not staying here, Mulligan. I say we are. Lost that name. We'll kick ass and take names. You back off right now, soldier. Before I put you down. I once saw a guy put a fish in a bottle. Then he corked it, sealed it tight, and threw it to a baby octopus. And the octopus, he felt his way all around that bottle. And in less than two minutes, he got the cork off, slid inside, and ate the fish. And the moral of this story is? Where the fish? Listen, ship's already starting to sink. What if they don't get here in time? I, I don't want to drown. Yeah. Look, Mulligan, you can do whatever you want, but I am going to get my ass to the surface. I pray to God that my boat is still there and those things aren't crawling all over it. And then I am going to bail the hell out of here.
Which way? This just takes us back into the hole. That's the way up. Through there. Are you coming or what? Yeah. I'm right behind you. Dead end to me. Where's Canton?
say I never gave you nothing. room and get me any power you can fast not even a joey i'm glad to see you joey what happened to your leg joey you want to be the appetizer or the entree right 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 i'm on it give me the parts what? i love it i lost them you what i lost them okay i lost them go to the flow will you joey i got a plan plan my ass without those parts this thing ain't gonna go more than about a city block well that's all i'm gonna need now get moving will you Layla? I don't think she made it. Right. I'll, uh, I'll go see what I can do. She's running on fumes. Here goes nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, baby needs a new pair of shoes. Come on, 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 come on. Damn. Listen, you have to be gentle. I know, I know. Give me that key. Now! Give me 
that key. Oh! This will be quick, but it'll be interesting. <laughs>
that way, huh?
around you when I need you, Joey. Hey, I found a souvenir! Well, I guess we're stuck on this island. Stuck on this island. Better than a cold beer, huh? Pretty good! Hey, guys! Joey! Joey! Are you alright? Hey, watch the lake! What? Watch the lake! Watch the lake! I thought you said he was dead! I thought he uh, was dead! Uh, it, it almost had me, man! It came crashing right through the windshield! I ran out the hatch, the thing was snapping at my ass! I dove overboard, swam like hell! Next thing I know, kablooey! And your damn surfboard almost cut me in half, man! <laughs> was it the water in my eyes? Or did I just see a little lip action between you two? Joey. You no, know, I could always go for a stroll down the beach or Joey. go for a little swim. Although I gotta tell you, if I never get back in that damn water. Joey! Again, okay, cool. I'll stick around. You don't have to beg me. <laughs> this looks like a nice enough place. <laughs> 